Hello, my name is Pamela, P-A-M-E-L-A, Weir, W-E-I-R, and um, before tonight I never heard of Commission on Civil Rights, so if I had a complaint I wouldn't know to go there, but um, I would probably go to Garden State Equality because that's the name that I would know and familiar with, but um, um, my partner and I, my civil union legal partner and I got uh, legally civil unionized on June 1st. And um, her family is very, very supportive. And um, my family is not. They're from rural Pennsylvania, and they don't really um, understand the whole thing. But um, I changed my last name to my partner's last name for uh, three reasons. Number one, I never, I never really liked my given last name. It's uh, kind of a long and hard to uh, pronounce. Uh, number two is because her family accepted me into their family, and I am part of their family now, um, even though I mean, they technically call me their daughter, you know, their cousin, their you know, sister, and, but um, I'm not allowed to legally say that. But um, the uh, third reason is because of uh, hospitals. My partner, uh, civil, my legal civil unionized partner, um, has diabetes type 1, uh, juvenile diabetes, since uh, she was very young. And um, that was uh, one of the main reasons why I took her last name is, God forbid, we're ever out of state and uh, need to go to a hospital or anything. At least we'd have the same last name that, uh, I don't know, maybe we'd say we're sisters or something. But um, even in this state, you know, it, people just don't get it. I mean, I, I didn't know. I, I, I don't have an edu you know, I have a, a degree, but not an education to be a teacher. But since June 1st, I had no idea how many teaching seminars uh, I had to be giving <laughs> just by questions and answers for people. Um, my employers, um, we've never, we each have our own, you know, we're both employed and have our own health insurance. So we haven't, you know, gone any route to legally, you know, get each other's health insurance or anything. But um, I had to explain to my employers, of course, of course, when I'm changing my last name and explain what it all means and everything and hand over all the documentation. Um, even at DMV, somebody said, oh, you can do that? You can change your last name? Um, most people understood at DMV, you know, without question, but I was surprised that an, an employer there did not understand. Um, just time and time again, you know, oh, you got civil union. Well, why don't you just call it marriage? That's what it is, right? And most people say that to me, like, well, that's what it is. Why isn't it just called that? And um, I can't technically call her my spouse, but, I mean, that's what she is. It's the same thing. Um, I can't say that we've been legally discriminated against, but I me mean, having to explain it over and over and over again, I don't know. To me, it's just uh, it's somewhat discriminatory because... People who get married, people just say, oh, congratulations, and that's the end of it. Even being here tonight um, kind of proves that it's not equal, or else we wouldn't have to be standing here tonight. <laughs> and Commissioner, I didn't think that your, your comment was biased at all. To me, that was just knowledge, you know? Who, where can I make a complaint? I can make a complaint too. A number of different organizations if I wanted to. Um, to me that was just um, knowledge. I didn't find it biased at all. But um, I don't know. When we had a family reunion on my side of the family and my sister said, you know, that my legal civil union partner and I could come and stay at their place. Oh, never mind. My time's up. Okay. My, um, my sister said I can go stay with them. And um, I'm like, okay, that's what our plans were going to be. And then, like, the day before, she's like, okay, but you have to sleep in separate bedrooms. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? And she's like, well, you're not married. And I said, well, we're legally civil unionized. It's the same thing as marriage. And she's like, it's not the, sa it's not the same word. It's not the same thing. Um, that's just a minor thing. It's within my family. But it's kind of the same thing that we face every day on a daily basis. And hopefully someday I won't have to keep explaining myself over and over again. Oh, and the uh, documentation. Every time I go to the doctor's office, I can't check off spouse, my spouse's name. I can't check off um, I'm widowed, I'm divorced, I'm single. Sometimes there's a box for other that I can check. 
But um, I can't check off anything else because it's just not there. <laughs>